Yo! Don't give it up, Lupe. Don't give it up, Solo. Don't give it up, Navi. Don't give it up, 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 give it up. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, welcome everyone to an unboxing video of uh, something I've been waiting for a long time. I apologize for the delay. Shipping to Canada seems to take a long time, but um, I've been super excited for this. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I want this. So, let's open her up. You click the video, you already know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the One Piece, uh, I was going to say Pirate Warriors. That's a different game that I already let's play it in. We did not get the special edition for it because it was digital only. No, One Piece Burning Blood special edition, which I'm gonna not show the papers that has all my important information. But I guess first off, because I did order from Namco Bandai's website itself, as opposed to ordering it from, you know, a place that would ship quickly like Amazon, I got the Steelbook cover, which I love Steelbook covers, you can't see it. I'm so normally used to filming down here, so like now that it's higher because it's a bigger thing, I actually have to hold it up. So we got the uh, Steelbook, uh, reminds me a lot of the one that came with Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which is good because, hey, you know, it keeps them all nice and together. It's actually very nice. Like it's, it's, Steelbooks have that feel to it, but this has like a, like a real cool metal feel. And I don't know if you can see, but the, the reflection on the fire is actually incredible. Wow, okay. And of course you got fire on both sides in the form of both, as I open it up and things fly everywhere, in the form of both Luffy and Sabo. You can see them, it quite mirrors nicely. Um, I don't know, I almost want to like display it like, I don't know, like on a wall like this somehow. I don't know if I'll be able to. Because of course the big problem with Steelbooks is you close it, you're looking at your game collection, you're like, what, what game is this? But that's okay. It's definitely a very nice looking and a better bonus than uh, I think stickers and keychains were the other ones. So, kind of wanted that more, and it was a free thing. So, let's get into the real meat and bones of the package. Or the, uh, I don't know what else you would call it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, as you can see, it's quite large. Um, I had to, of course, zoom out and everything to get it all in. Um, like, like, for comparison, here's the game case. So, like, yeah, no, it's quite a bit bigger than, than the normal game case, but for good reason, of course. So, we're actually gonna have to open this up here, so just give me a sec. Alright, stuff's all taken off, and we can look at the box in all its glory. So, we got, of course, on the, on the box, a list of, not only a list, but some of the major playable characters. You got Sengoku, Whitebeard, Ace, Jozu, or as he's called in this game for some reason, Jaws. Very strange localization choice. I like the U there. Marco the Phoenix. Got the Admirals. And on the back, of course, even though you got the Special Edition, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I feel like if you get the Special Edition, you should not have all this advertising on the back. But it doesn't matter, though, because it's a good thing that this comes off to reveal coolness. Okay, well, this spoiled one surprise. This opens up to become a super awesome diorama. I mean, that is backdrop worthy. Like, look at that. Now mind you, it's taken straight from the anime, um, which is a bit sad. I'm definitely more of a fan of the manga of One Piece than the anime, having, you know, read and watched both, but uh, that's fine, it still looks great. And then the box now has what you did, what, what you'd more expect on the box. You know, you got Marineford itself, Ace, Whitebeard's Mark, and Whitebeard himself, Edward Newgate, not Newget, of course. And to start things off, you have the game itself, which I will be doing a Let's Play of, so be on the lookout for that. Now, of course, you get both, which gives you a conundrum of which to use. Um, I'm going to use this and probably just use this as an extra storage case if I get any extra games, uh, mostly because it's not the best looking box, so I'll be using this one. Cool, cool. And now, we opened up and we get into the real meat and potatoes of this one. Didn't I already use that, that idiom? I think I might have. Okay, that's fine. So, let's move this to the side as we release him from his prison. Um, as we re release him from Impel Down, 
Oh my god, this is worse than a Barbie doll. Have you ever tried to un un undo a Barbie doll? They're the worst. They make them so that no one can get into them. They are the real impel down prisons. Oh my god, this is actually impossible. There we go. Oh. Well, we got a... We got White Beard here, but there's a slight issue. <laughs> He's headless. Uh, I hope that's in like an accessory package or something, because... Well, I, we'll, we'll open it up, because he doesn't have his weapon either, so of course it might be a bit different. Let's open her up, not on camera, because it's quite difficult to do it on camera. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay, so, we have the body of him. Now mind you, this is like a, a um, not, not like a Figma or an action figure, this is just a statue. So you place it and the uh, coat goes over top, like so, which gives it a good, um, like it, the way it rests on him looks natural as opposed to like how some figures, they're like, you know, on them and it doesn't look as natural. So I'm looking and I don't see the accessories in there, but hopefully, uh, ha ha ha, here they are. Because you actually have to make them. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Okay, well, I guess there's some assembly required. That was unexpected. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, here, just gotta open them all up and get them, get them going. So, the first biggest chunk is, uh, well, spoilers, his grave. Um, and as you can see, it actually has Edward Newgate on it, and written on it is Edward Newgate, you can't read that because the camera's terrible. Edward Newgate, captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, here lies a great captain and a father, liberated from the exhausting role in labor, who captained the Moby Dick in the spectacular era of pirates. So that can go there, and we'll keep assembling it as we go on. So here's the, uh, here's the accessory pack I was totally talking about including his head, which is good, because if that didn't come with it, I would be more than slightly worried. So, let's take that as the first thing out, because obviously, he's looking a bit strange without his head. So, look how tiny it is. Look at his tiny little head, which makes sense, given, like, you know, One Piece proportions and stuff. But let's, uh, put that on, make him look a lot better. And even though the proportion is really, really, really stupid, because One Piece is the way it is, it works act. Okay. Well, he's no longer Whitebeard, um, because his mustache came off. You might be wondering why it's called Whitebeard if, he's, if it's a mustache. That's because in Japanese, uh, beard and mustache are the same word. Hey, that's really fragile. I might even glue that in, because that is, uh, very easily gonna come out. Let's actually get the camera a little, little nicer on them now that we're more zoomed in a bit. Let's get it in nice and close. There we go. Much better. Okay, so next up we got the... Yeah. Be nice if it came with some instructions, but I'm guessing you're just supposed to go off of what you know and probably from the pictures. So after that we got... Whoa, this one's a long one. The flag part of the uh, the grave, which we actually can't put in yet, because it's not actually a flag. It's actually his weapon, which I you can you make him hold it? You cannot make him hold it. That's okay. Um, but what you do need at that point is the. I'm sorry, this is so not interesting with me opening them all up off screen, but it's, it's real, they're really in there. So it's actually his weapon. What you wanna do is you wanna connect him here and here, and then it's, what it is is it's his, his not Naginata, cause someone could told me it's totally not a Naginata, it's called something else. It goes into there. So there we go. Um, and then, you know what, there might be instructions in there somewhere which I'm just not seeing. We do have a flower wreath, and I think that goes... I'm actually gonna need to look where that goes, because I genuinely do not know where the wreath goes. Um, okay, now I see. No, no, the wreath goes right there, which you probably have to get kind of crazily by, like, going here, and then, like... Oh my god, this is Mission Impossible. 
Yeah, so then it goes like, pretty sure like, there you go. So that wreath goes on there. And that is uh, his grave. And what you are supposed to do is you take off his coat here, and then it rests instead on his grave. Like, so, uh, I might need the instructions again. <laughs> Let's see here, how does it go exactly? I know it rests on his grave. Yeah, no, that's how it goes. You're just supposed to place it like, like, so, there's probably, there you go. Yeah, so like that's, you can either put his coat on him or his grave, um, depending on which you prefer. Then we got, next up, we still got more, even though it looks pretty close to being done. We do have, I think it's for his feet. Um, you get a little, you'll see here, little rocky bluff. I think that's where, like, you go with his foot. It's either that or his spear. Let's see here. Once again, I need the instructions. It is on none of them. Okay. We're going to have to find out what this is for. Because I do not know. Maybe there is instructions in here. Uh, no. There is totally not. Well, that makes things easy. Um, it should be said that these were prizes in Japan in a, um, uh, what is it called? A crane game. You could have crane gamed them. So, you got the tip of the knot, Naginata. Someone told me what that is, and I, of course, forgot because I just don't know what it is. I think maybe it's his spear goes into it, and it's, like, supposed to be holding it in place. Possibly. We'll see. Um, and I don't even know what this thing is, but I will have to take it out of the bag, because I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe someone will tell me. Maybe it's a piece to get it to hold on in the thing, I don't know. Because I don't know what this is, it's just a, uh, hand. But what we can do is, um, let's see here, does that, how, how, how would that work? That, so that, that won't fit in there. I don't know what this is for. Like, I'd assume it's for you put it around his foot or something. Okay, so there's that. And so that fits really well like that. But does it not fit? Like, I'm trying to figure this out. And people are probably screaming at me saying, oh my god, you're so dumb. Which I know is true. Because I feel like it should be. Maybe it goes on... No. No. Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's take one more look. Maybe it's on the back and I just didn't see. No. Oh! No! Okay. Okay, I see what it is. Okay, so. It's a little, it's a little confusing. Because what it is, is if you see, he's holding it at an angle, right? So what you want to do is take this, put this through here somehow. I'm going to need to take it back. I'm sorry. I don't know how some people do it totally on camera. That's tough. That's the toughest. Okay, so. I see, I see, I see. Not to be confused with icy like, like that. Huh. Jokes all around. If we take and go like this. So you can see he has his what? Where, where, did, where did his mustache go now? Oh my god. That comes off really easily. It's such a tiny little piece to even put in, too. Okay, so... Eh. Okay, so you see, you put it on his foot here, and what it is, is it goes and you place the back part in it, I'm pretty sure. No, nope, because it doesn't fit nicely. Okay. Um... Oh, no, that's what this is for, then. Okay, okay. So then you take this little holder thing, and it goes in there, Okay, I see now. I see. And then, you can't see. Of course you can't, because the camera zoomed in. So you take it, you go like that, and it like can uh, hold it in place somehow for you. Because obviously you're going to be like, I, I don't know. Okay, no, you know what? I might not have been right. I'm trying to figure this out. It's the fact that there's no instructions, nor is there any form of like thing on the back showing where this is, is kind of suckish. 
because I feel like it's just gonna go like, you know, get it nice and high. You want him to hold it high. Maybe. I guess, sure. G good enough. Okay. There we go, but that's not it, of course, because we do have one more thing. And that is the, oh. Oh, it's done manga style. Let's zoom out now. Zoom out. There we go. We have an art book. Burning Blood, the art book, which, of course, I'm going to have to open. So just give me a sec. Thankfully, this one, oh, it's already nice and easy to open. Watch there be instructions in this. Watch me have totally forgotten, and I'm going to be a fool now. Let's see here. Let's see, I'm just going to look flip through the back. There are not instructions. Well, that's good. That's good. At least I'm not a fool. So, take a look here. We got an art book. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Look at that lovable dude. Um, that was the producer of the game. So you can look through. It has art of all the characters. I'm not going to stay on them for long because, of course, I'm going to be showing it uh, in the game. So yeah, that's the art book. Um, it's that's just like the little extra. I feel it's not that good of an art book. Um, it's pretty small compared to some that you see, uh, but it's it's still nice. The only thing is it has a the dust cover, which is actually makes it a bit harder to close and stuff. But no, there we go. So here he is himself, the great uh, Shiro Hige White Beard, and I'm actually gonna take this off and put it back onto him. This looks much cool. Oh, that's the worst. Is it supposed to hold his jacket, maybe? I don't know, man. It's strange. But oh well. Here he is. White beard. He's cool. It's a cool figure. I really like it. And honestly, yeah, it's, it's worth for the special edition. The background, while I won't be using it because I don't have anywhere big enough to show the whole thing, is definitely cool. And if anyone can tell me what the hell this is actually for, I'll be very grateful. Thank you all for watching, guys. And see you uh, in the actual Let's Play of One Piece Burning Blood. Ciao.